Would you like to get medals for free for doing absolutely nothing? Oh, well, this is the video for you. First of all, historical Japan. The Purge is here. Merge the armies, the air force, all in one place. Convert them into rubbish old infantry. And then top that off, we need to research the paratrooper. Do Japanese have paratroopers in World War II? They probably did. But at 9.36, they've not even thought about the idea. <gasps> but now they have. Benches, girders, semiconductors. Nintendo have been founded. Mills. A few of those to begin with. And a bunch of ships and planes. Uh, That will do for now. And the rest is convoys. I'm also going to show you the cheapest possible space marine in this video as well. And it involves medium anti-air tanks. Oh, almost forgot trucks. Don't forget about the trucks so you can have supply problems. Oh yeah, and trains as well. Got the mindset. I'm playing Vidal Lahoy. Come on, Dave. There's been a few expansions since then. Oh, wow. This is a change. So now all the national focus is you can't go if I've been removed and we're just left with this focus tree. And wow. The Japanese focus tree is so small now. Huh. Now we're purged. Now we're going to guide. Take my hand and hit the subscribe button. I spy with my little eye. It begins with China. We want manpower. We need to enlist. Up the conscription law to enlist. To enlisted. It enlisted. Enlisted is a new kind of first person shooter which combines PvP and PvE combat. You team up with the customizable AI soldiers which you'll use to secure your objectives alone or with other players. You will be waging war in weapons, vehicles, equipment, all the way from Russia down into the deep, dark fatherland. Customize your character by selecting a unique class. We're the riflemen with bolt action rifles to the SMG wielding engineer, which also specialize in building anti-tank fortifications. As you'd expect from a modern game, incredible graphics, immersive sound, war, has never been this real. Oh, don't me, I'm just cruising through Russia in my T-34. However, there are many different variations of weapons, tanks, and other aircraft. Hey, what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description to get the free bonus pack, which includes multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. Play Enlisted now for free on PC, Xbox, and the PlayStation. See you out there. First advice you definitely need is going to be your army morale expert giving ticking army XP. The earlier you get that, the more XP you can end up with, the more doctrines you can have, the more firepower you have. It goes without saying. Ooh, this looks nice. An anti-air tank. Label it. Anti-air. 33 armor at the start of the game for a medium. That's not too bad. Yes, this is it. Oh, look at the barrel on that one. Oh, it looks menacing. Doesn't look like an anti-air barrel though. Okay, we don't want the anti-air. Well, actually, that's not true. Anti-air is very useful. However, it's the armor we want. And the reason this tank is special is it has an unbelievably low production cost. But you're going to say, oh, Dave, come on. You can make this cheaper by just adding on a machine gun. Yeah, I could. I could. However, there is a trick to it. Anti-airs are very special. Because if you add a battalion of anti-air onto a division, it doesn't use as many units of tank compared to using a regular old tank. Look, a medium tank, if you look on the right hand side, you see that on the right? Medium tank plus 50. Yep. But if you use an anti-air tank, aha, we only need 36 to make up the total amount in this division. But get this, regardless if I select this one or an equivalent version that has the same stats, it will have the same level of armor. Which, if you think about it, doesn't actually make any sense, does it? Surely a division that has more tanks in it has more armor? Paratroopers are here. Now we need to make a few transport planes. Initially, we'll assign a few, but then we, when we've got the production going, we'll not need that many. You need at least 50 transport planes to make a power drop. So once we've got 50, that'll be all we need. Construction, construction, construction. And Nintendo Wii's China is a nightmare to invade. You practically got to take the whole country before they capitulate. To avoid that, an easy collaboration government. Plus, compliance. Who doesn't love compliance? I mean, the comments if you love compliance. I already know you love it. I know you do. Whoa, you want more armor? No problem. The V2. Slope me up. Here we go. Hey, pro tip. Did you know that you can exercise planes on carriers? You click them and you're like, oh, wait, hang on. I can't exercise them. Why is the button grayed out? You just move them. Click on the fleet. Move them into the sea. Exercise to level three. Oh, wow. Exercise sized air wings. Nice. Okay. The transports are here. Exploit time. We need some paratroopers. So make as many as you can. Eight will seem good. Yep. I approve of that. Move these boyos here. Japan's such a strange nation, isn't it? 936 and we're on total mobilization. We're not even at war. Well, not yet anyway. Here we go. 50 transports. Hang on. But where are we power dropping? And power drop into my own 
territory. Okay, the game's a bit confusing here. In the olden days, you could power drop whilst at peace. You can't do that anymore. The tooltip doesn't let you know you have to be at war with someone, but you can power drop into friendly territory. We'll come back to this layer, because for now, we can't proceed, because we need to be at war with, well, anyone. Boom! The greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere. Hey, listen, does anyone just get kind of annoyed by that name? I feel like it's the worst name in the world. We're going to short it now to GPS. GPS or GISPS. No, okay, it, it, it's better with the long name, but that doesn't mean I like it. Exploit time. There's a weird glitch where the communists cause problems in North China, and then there's like an incident where you have the ability to declare war on China without suffering from this Marco Polo incident penalty, which is, look at this, look at this, it's just ridiculous. You get rid of it by clicking a decision every now and then, it's kind of annoying. We're going to do this method because it's just a little bit quicker. But anyway, regardless of that, if you can wait a little bit longer, probably another six months, you'll get the event file, which allows you to declare war without these penalties. Wow, call Collaboration governments are so much more expensive. 22 civilian factories. It's completely shut down my economy doing this. Definitely going to be worth it though. So no complaints. Marco, Polo, Bridge, Incident. You have got a war goal against China. It starts. Let's do it. Let's go to war. So the divisions aren't very good at the minute. So I'm going to move you boyos here. Do a little bit of short bombardment. Hold the front line a little bit stronger. And at the same time, assign you. And put my air force here. Close air support. And then declare war on China, reluctantly. So, exploits. Medals. You want to see those? Unlimited medals? Let's do it. So, here we go. Power drop from here to here. So, we're kind of power dropping inside of our own territory. We don't have a bunch of tests with this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Have a little play around. But if you're power dropping from one of your locations that you own to another location you own on a significant victory point, this will work. In this case, we'll actually go for the capital city of Manchu. All the way up there. Wow. Wow, so much distance for a power drop. Amazing. And right now we have too many divisions assigned. So we'll select them all and then unassign them. Now we're just going to assign them one at a time. Activate the plan. We've got the planes there. We've got the air superiority there. So as you go, we'll activate the plan. And this guy will now power drop. Boom. Click him. And there we go. Power drop. Is he going to drop? Yeah, he's dropped. Congratulations. The first drop has been accomplished. Now, strangely enough, this has not actually worked. He's not received a medal. Okay, let's do it somewhere else. So from here to maybe this southern city. And it was a success. A power drop has been executed in home territory and I've been rewarded with a medal. You have successfully power dropped it ahead of your main deployment. Ahead? The front line is here. It doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. And again, power drop. Activate the plan. Off you go. Awarded with a medal. And again. And another one. You kind of get where this is going, right? Well, look at this. I seem to be generating medals completely out of thin air. Another one. <laughs> and there we go. 24 divisions trained inside of my own country doing paratrooping lessons. Yeah, but we're not done yet. There's more. But for now, we'll just leave these guys here because we'll come back to them later. We're not done milking medals yet. Mm. That's an okay tank division. But where's the tank? Right there. Being reminded by how dated this mechanic is. Just press this button every two weeks, I think. Again, an attack bonus. Yay. You get a gentle push towards base Beijing and also very foolishly, oh China, what have you done? Like a knife through butter. And the surrender limit is dropping thick and fast. We grab the East Coast. I think they'll capitulate. Americans demand apology and compensation for the sinking of USS Panay. I'm oh, so very sorry. So from a little bit of testing, it turns out this bit isn't as effective as I first thought. So if you want to, you can find like a good victory point and you can power drop onto it again. From here to here, activate the power drop. And then we do the power drop here. And if you're lucky, not always the case, but you can be rewarded with another medal. So he's got like a significant achievement. You get one for landing on the capital of a said location. So if we wanted to do it again, we could land from here onto the capital, but you can only do that with one division. You'd have to do this silly routine where you kind of capture the capital, then let the enemy take it back, then capture the capital by doing power drops over and over again. Eh, to cut out most of the fuss and not to mess around. Sure, you can grind for more medals. However, in this one instance, I think I've got enough medals. So I think I'm done for now. So what I'm going to do now is convert them all to my super strong AA armored infantry space marines. And top that off as well, you can hop into here. Accomplished heritage. And what it allows you to do is assign medals at 50% cheaper. And it just costs you just a little tiny bit of political power now. Japan's a little bit strange. It's got two division recovery rate medals. And it's also got an interesting supply reduction, which is awesome with attack. And then also a breakthrough bonus. So the winner is the supply and attack. I mean, why not? do two things right why not both 
Okay, and that's the last one. I've run out of political power. I don't have to do any more. So now with these free medals, you got the option now to a massive reduction in supply and extra attack abilities for practically nothing. It's free. So why not? Who doesn't love doctrines, right? 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 Yeah, all of them. We're learning pretty quickly. All right, attack. Let's go. Push. It becomes a lot easier when you have less supply problems. Put it that way. And as you go, you're going to get more medals. The maximum of medals you want to sign for the same medal, in this case, the Order of the Golden Kite, is three. Don't go more than three. Because if you can see really closely, you zoom in on the stats, you can see you get diminished returns. The first one got you the full 10%. The next one's the 5%. Next one's going to be about 2 or 3%. After that, there's no point going for it again. So pick a different medal. Boom! Took all the coastline and just a little bit of the center. And the capitulated. That's so much easier than pushing all the way to like here. What do we want? Everything. Japan. My Japan. Oh, look at that compliance. Give me the resources. Demand Hindu China from Vichy France. And they say, yes, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme rubber. China conquered. Now let's plunder it for resources. You thought Europe speed bumps were the lowlands, right? Well, there's a speed bump in Asia too, and it's called Siam. I could put them into a faction with me, but I just don't want to. Oh, this was a recent change. Two of these states, this one and this one, are cores of Benchuko. I'm getting resistance here, so the easiest thing to do is just hand it over to Benchuko. Return territory. There we go. Inner Mongolia unified. Is this inner or outer? I forget which is which. Tell me in the comments. Supply, nightmare, railroads everywhere. First stop, Asia. We do a little bit of uh, prospecting. Boom. This is the boyo. Ready for the assault. Can we add an extra AA on? Oh my goodness, we can. Okay. A lovely 44 wit. Boom. Now to see the firepower of breaking Malaysia. Here, 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 here. And push. Go, go, go. And instantly breaks. Literally no resistance whatsoever. And we can make little encirclements as we push forward. And here. And also here. The amount of firepower you get from these divisions is just insane it's just too much so as you can see we just tear through as if there's nobody there that moment when you forget something oh oh yeah once again resistance is incredibly light uh, grab the two ports and you're trapped raj siam front how many divisions have we got okay we can see our divisions we've got the entirety of our army here two million men armored up good to go just go aggressive guys and absolutely dump staring them now we did have to build a few supply depots but at the end of the day it was 100 percent worth it because now we push through with practically no resistance it's just that easy as you can see the supply is just not a problem because the amount of supply reductions we've got right now is just insane we have logistics three minus 30 percent Minus 5% from logistical focus. I don't even know what that is. Minus 10% infiltration assault from the doctrine. And then we have one of the medals. And then all the rest is from the generals, which we do have logistics wizard. And we're stacking as much firepower as we can and as much supply reduction as we can. Oh my God, look at this. In this case, why, why are you fighting this guy? Don't fight him. Just push around the side and then make a nice juicy encirclement. Who needs to build an air force, eh? Just... just just make a bunch of these. Yeah, it does the job quite well. So because I've not declared we're on the Philippines, it's 1943. Uh, we're able to trade oil uh, with the United States. And uh, they're totally okay with that. Cheers, USA. Thanks for all the fuel. Thanks for helping me invade the allies. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this front line pushing here. And then there's also this one pushing here. Ah. Rajless world. Let's invade the Asian nation that has been told never to be invaded and never should be invaded. And everyone who invades it has problems. Let's see if I have any problems. Ooh. Well, that was easy. Could have done that blindfolded. Next. Off we go. Whenever Germany does well, they have to deal with this. Mussolini, come on. You have been embargoed by the United States. Is that the worst thing you can do to me? Quad medal, boyo. One more of the golden kites. And now we can move on to... Ooh, what do we do now? I think we go for the HP as well as the org recovery. Japanese in Egypt. Turkey. I was spending ages justifying you because of your strange justify war goal on this thing. What is this? But you declared war on me, so it made my life easier. Thank you. You've been embargoed by the Soviet Union. Okay, I, uh, we're reaching the point where Comintern and allies equally hate me. Axis is next. And the strait is broken. Come on, no, don't. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, are we winning? Are we losing? What's going on? There we go. Breaking through to the other side. Oh, we made some great gains, allies. Pushing all the way to Bulgaria into Romania. And then you've got repelled from the other side. Well, everyone hates me. Uh, might as well add an extra enemy, right? Bulgaria, 
Romania, come on, come on, come on. Join the war. Yeah, come on in. Okay, you're not joining the war. We're gonna have to manually justify. And it's glitching. Okay, we have to do it on Romania. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Bulgaria's immune to justifications right now. We justify and then the justification Ooh. ends. Maybe because we're declaring on a child. And the game's like, no bully of child, please. No bully. All right, we got it opening. Romania, off we go. And Bulgaria joins. Too little, too late. I think it's kind of funny that we're fighting against the Axis. Then we break through the Axis front line. Then we're against the Allies. And then we're facing a new enemy of the Allies. I think it's kind of funny. There is no end to the front line. Just keep going. Greeks capitulating for a second time. Soviet Union has declared war on Menchukio. Oh dear. The front line's about to get a lot bigger. Who are we up against? Everyone. Japan versus the world. Boom. Oh my goodness. I get to make a little uh, corridor through the Middle East. What's really confusing right now is I can't take all the land because I'm in a peace conference with the Soviet Union, but I'm at war with the Soviet Union. I find it really hard to believe they'd be willing to negotiate whilst I was at war with them. Hmm. Chaos. Okay, abandoned Europe. Um, new front line. I hate invading the Soviet Union, but invading as Japan is a whole new level. Having to go through Siberia, all this area, which has low infrastructure, bad supply, really far depots. It's just the worst of the worst. So always, even if I'm not even planning on invading the Soviet Union, which actually wasn't surprisingly, um, I made a collab government with them and I'm so unbelievably thankful that I did do that. Just grab Moscow, it's over. Boom. What am I going to take? Everything. And that reconquers all the land that I lost in Europe just earlier. <laughs> that is an increase in font size. Ding, ding. Round two. I feel like it's strange that you should be able to be in negotiation with a peace conference with a nation you're already at war with. It feels like that peace conference in the middle of the war didn't seem relevant at all. Surely you should not have a peace conference. Just doesn't make sense. Oh, well. Going around the Maginot. This is the most historical game. Casualties. There you go. Everyone asked for them. Here they are. Here comes the sea lion. Britain is absolutely f that is a GG. Okay, I want to say something. I, I was not actually prepared for how OP that tank template was. Remember, not made any Navy the entire game. Not made any Air Force the entire game. Relied on that one division for the entirety of the game. Hey, who knows? Maybe it was the medals as well. Damn. Look at that font. Now, hold on for a second. We're not done yet. Check out this boyo. So he's a part of a fantastic 10 attack general. Amazing, right? Check this out. Look at these medals. Look at these achievements. So he started off as a mere paratrooper division paratrooping into his own territory just for an exercise yeah and then he went through all these great objectives then eventually taking the capital of iraq of mosul interesting it was part of the siege in turkey it's part of the occupation of berlin the occupation of amsterdam and took part in the siege of the hague and then finally took part in the siege of plymouth this guy has got so many distinctions medal of honor why not and also the order of the <laughs> look at these medals oh my goodness he is a living god can we actually promote him he has been promoted. The living legend is now a general. And there he is. Wow, an engineer officer. Media personality. Oh my goodness, so many. A conquest to be proud of. <laughs> Conquer two-thirds of the planet. And USA is like, eh, we just don't like you. <laughs> GG! Unless it brings you into the heart of world war two providing you with a realistic shooting experience with their very own squad of ai soldiers check out the link in the description it's your ticket to experiencing enlisted on pc xbox and playstation and the best part it is completely free i'll see you on the battlefield soldier you've watched it you can't unwatch it and keep watching it this is the next video give this one a click this one